Hello. I'm just gonna pop in early because I'm ready to go. <laughs> All right. There was something I wanted to fix up with the hair. I feel like we just need one more darker tone right up here. Not this dark, but just something. Yeah. Hello, Rattle. Hello, Bee. How are you two doing? Yeah, that looks way better. Okay, cool. And now back to what we were doing. You're good. That's good. When to an event where a couple of people from Disney came to speak with us about like future internships and stuff. <gasps> That's exciting. That's awesome. Are you wanting to be a crew member? Now I know that her hair is supposed to be less of an ombre, more of like two tone, like just suddenly both colors. So. I'll do it like this. Short hair fur. Oh boy. I have not been drawing it too, too short. Should I redo it? Is it too long? No, don't be sorry. But this is a group effort. <laughs> it's not hard to restart. Okay. Let's see. So I want it to be soft, but short. So maybe I'll just tap it instead. We will uh, remove the stuff on her butt there. <laughs> That's not supposed to be. There we go. Thank you for the lurk and deep. I got a candle going. It's been rainy all week. I'm living for the vibes over here. Actually, I'll worry about erasing that after because we still have a couple layers of this to go. See, told you it wouldn't be hard to redo. Hey, Mikey, we did need the rain. I needed the rain, <laughs> not to be selfish, but I needed the rain desperately. And the brown should flow lower down the tail. The whitish color should be later on in the tail, closer to the tip. Okay, let me pull up my reference photo. Downloads. There you are. And then we will adjust the base. Once my photo loads, that would be so nice. <laughs> well, then for you, you got your wish. He. Okay. The reference photo, I see it. Is it like a lighter brown than I was originally? Than we have. Um, but do you prefer this kind of darker? Just to confirm. I'm going to go like this and then like this. So that way I can... Hard to see in rough due to the color of her clothing. Yee. 
That's okay. I also, like, was just trying to, I guess, reference the hair, but I guess the hair is more closer. Eh, it's hard to tell because the hair's short. But let's say, like, the at. And now I need to go a bit lighter because we did make the brown ombre a little bit just to give it more of that interesting to look at sort of not flat. Oh my gosh, the weather is so good here. Like all of the leaves are turning orange and they're falling down. Like it feels like a movie. Yeah. I love her hairstyle. I love how it looks like a bob with a big braid. I think that's so cute. Finally getting cooler there too. What's the temperature where you are? It's 17 degrees Celsius here. I do not know Fahrenheit. <laughs> just, a, just a minor heads up. I am Canadian. Oh no. Hey, now's the time to sub. It's 25% off. Although I don't think he, Rattle can hear me. Taylor, how are you doing today? Friendly reminder to everyone, it's 25% off to um, join the subs right now, the Spectral Spirits. There we go. So she's got this little bit longer fluffy hair here at the end, which is so cute. Hi, Lila. Welcome in. And then we can do that thingy at the end. It ends with a poof. Yes. Thank you. All right. So still a long way to go with the tail. Um, obviously we have a frozen screen. Disrespectful. One moment. Let me just, you guys can see my cute little, I think they're ducks, but I'm lying. And I'm gonna say they're gooses, goosies. I have to reload my Procreate. I'm actually going to um, just delete some stuff here that I can so my iPad doesn't get mad at me, you know. I'm going to get rid of that, get rid of that. That's a 5 by 7 okay. Cool. All right. 
<laughs> here we go. Reopen that up. And there we go. Back to business. I am going to round out the tail just with a soft airbrush. <laughs> Silly goose. Go like that. Just so the tail feels a bit more. Round. Let me think on this. We want to do a lighter color in the middle. It looks a little too red, so I'm just going to go like that. It's just the shading, don't worry. Make it look round. Or are you talking about the overall brown? Because we can definitely lighten that up as well. Let me adjust that. That's too light there. I'm just finishing this part and then we will just adjust it with a slider. <laughs> no worries, I understand the struggles. All right, I'm going to merge these and then we're going to be able to adjust. So you go to saturation and you can just press it up here and you can actually change it to pencil so you don't have to do the entire layer. Then I'm just going to take an airbrush and go over this part. Don't panic. I know it looks purple. Don't panic. Um, bring this back to 50. I don't know why, but it auto changes it to 30. And then bring it to 50 and it'll be exactly as it was. Now I want to brighten it up, but keep the color. So brightness and saturation go up. Now it's still going to look a little a little dull. So we're going to go in with some more shading, but that looks better. That looks more cohesive with the hair color, which is nice, but we do still have to go in, especially near the booty area because there's a shadow there. We just have to erase this because her tail is behind her. There we go. Yeah. Awesome. So I'm going to add a little shadow here. I'm also going to add a bit of shadow near the bottom here. And then because this, I thought the hair was long, the silhouette here is wrong. So I'm just going to take a soft airbrush at it. And then I'm going to go back over it with that hairbrush. Boute. I love when I get to draw characters with a bootay. So I'm just going to go like this, fix the silhouette, make sure that doesn't look weird. Ba boom. Same with this. Again, I thought the hair was long. So this part here, all these longer pieces need to go. This part can probably stay, but this line, no. There, no. And I think that will do. And then I'll just go in and adjust the silhouette. Oh, 
Wrong layer. Can't adjust the silhouette if it's on alpha lock. <laughs> now, she does have her cheetah spots. I do have a brush for that. Her leopard spots on her tail. Let's hope it turns out. The cat spots. I like how you don't say a particular kind of cat. Just the cat spots. So I feel like it kind of like almost fades out near the bottom. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like that feels right. And then I'm going to lower the opacity. The cute spots. Yeah, we don't need a particular type of cat. Maybe I'm wrong. I just think it's not on the white tough. There you go. I definitely think the bigger spots are cuter. That is the new name actually. Okay, perfect. All right. Yay. I am very glad. Okay. So now we're going to kind of have to repeat everything darker. No, I like the lighter, the subtle subtlety, I think looks good here. So we're going to have to repeat this on the ears, something we can do, but I don't think I want to, is we could duplicate the tail and then adjust it and edit it. But I think it'll look better if we just do it by hand. Sometimes it's just better if you do that. Shortcuts can be great, but sometimes they're not worth it. The wishes. All right. So all we have left is her ears and then we have her skin, her freckles. Oh my gosh, the leaves, they're falling. It's so pretty. Sorry, I'm distracted by my window. Okay. Take your time and free all day. Perfect. I woke up early and I got things done and so far it's a good day. I'm trying to work during my boyfriend's hours because I think that'll be easier for me. So he's off at five again. Um, but my plan is to finish this today and also work on other commissions. So I may just work more after dinner because he cooks me dinner. I'm a lucky girl. All right. I'm actually going to take the cat ears and I'm going to remove them from the skin. Just so I don't have to worry about selecting them the whole time or accidentally drawing. Sorry, I'm listening to an amazing song right now. Um, I don't have to worry about accidentally drawing on said, said skin. Don't get off her ears. Who needs them? No, I'm just kidding. She's actually, it like balances her out. You know what I mean? She needs her ears. It's required. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. All right. So I'm going to start but just by darkening this a little bit because as I build up the fur, I like to go lighter. It's the same thing I would do if I was drawing, I don't know, like a bush. <laughs> they kind of help her show her emotions. Yes. On that note, you know what live action I didn't like? The Lion King. Cats' biggest things to show their emotions are their ears and they didn't move them at all. I was so sad. Like my favorite thing ever is when people draw like like animal type characters and then draw them like when they're sad or scared and their ears are down. I don't know. It's like my favorite thing. And I was so disappointed. Ear flicks. Yeah. The angle really helps accentuate the emotion of the character. Yeah. Right. All right. We're obviously going to adjust the inside as well while we are at it. We'll probably do that first so that way I can build on top of it since it's underneath. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is just make this here. Thank you for the lurk. I never watch the live action Lion King. I don't watch any movies nowadays. Oh man, I love like the Cinderella and the Little Mermaid are my favorite uh, live actions. I also did really like Beauty and the Beast, but I don't know. There's something really magical about those two for me. And uh, I was really hopeful for the Lion King. I thought they'd do a really good job. I'm going to take her lightest hair color and add some floof coming out of the ears, if you will accept. I don't have Disney Plus, so that also, oh yeah, that's a big damper for sure. <laughs> Woo floof, okay, good. Cause I fucking love the ear floof. It's like my favorite part about drawing cat characters. So cute, much cute. All right. So now we're gonna go ahead and start doing the same sort of thing. Give the ears I never thought to add it before, but it looks freaking adorable, right? It's definitely just one of the top tier character design pieces for uh any characters with fluffy ears. <laughs> Now cats ears on their hair. Yes. Okay. So cats ears on their hair go like straight. They don't really like, I mean, they can go curly. There's those weird cats that have like mm, not a full head of hair, if you will. And their hair's like curly, but she gives me fluffy here, but or sorry, sleeker here. And then fluffy here vibes makes the ears look too adorable and scratchable. Oh, uh -huh. Definitely. I agree. Like that. And see, I start darker because I find it gives it more of a 3D effect once the shading goes on. Yeah, exactly. You ever a song that you just want to listen to, like on repeat? I've had a song like just ugh in my head. Um, it is called okay, so the song is called Sleep Deprivation. And it is by Chance Pena, Pena, P E N A. It's got a fancy thingy on top of the N. It's so good. Like I literally like I freaking dance with my cat in the living room. I don't know. It's such a good vibe for me. I <laughs> hope you enjoy it. I got a question for you, Riddle. Do you want her ears to have like light colored tips? Or we could also do, um, I'll show you. 
So obviously the tips of her ears are not visible on this. We could also do light color like here, which is kind of cute. We could also do um, both. Either way, hint at it. The very tips only? Okay, you got it. So it won't be visible, but we will add a little hint of it up top here. Okay, cool. Awesome. Maybe, um, have you ever seen a Maine Coon's ears? So like, say this is the ear. Obviously this is just speculation. Oh, I'm glad you like it. But like Maine Coon's ears, like where it like gets all fluffy at the tip. <laughs> that would be cute. Oh, I drew it on the layer. No. All right. So I think we're onto the skin, which is my favorite part. I usually have to do it and then I do it at the end because it's my fave. We had talked about doing like a cat eyeliner. I'm going to throw that on to show you what I was talking about. So you give an inner corner moment and you can either fill in the bottom or not. I personally like more of like this sort of thing where you don't fill in the exact waterline. Besides, it's really bad for your eyes <laughs> to fill in your waterline, fun fact. And then I'll also extend it out here. You're enjoying the song or the drawing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. We're just about ready to just blend and then do the, the like texturing on the skin, but I just want to add a few more, a few more, a bit more shading. Wow. Words. I'm glad. Okay, awesome. It's on a different layer, so don't worry, I didn't like merge without a preview. I believe I selected the leg. Hell yeah. Way to go, Ricky. Is there a way to share pics here? So if you're put the post on your discord, like just send it to just send it to whoever. Um, and then you can click it and say open link or something and then copy that link from your Google and then paste it in the chat. I you do require a permit though. What is the picture for? Because you could also just send it to me on discord if you want. I got discord open. When I say I try not to look at the Discord, I just mean for like non-commissioner. <laughs> just a cat meme. Oh yeah, just share that on the Discord. You should actually share it into the Hey Baby Hideout. I'm sure people would appreciate that greatly. Here 
we go. Let's see. I are fierce. Oh, that's so cute. That one's a cheetah, right? Oh, so cute. Look at his little face. <laughs> I love him. Looks like a good boy. <laughs> Are cats your favorite animal? Yeah, I get it. I actually grew up with six cats um, at once. And at one point, my mom had... Right, it was a pretty good deal. At one point, my mom, she had, um, she had to go to court because it was illegal to have six cats in the city. And, uh, that's a long story, but essentially, um, my mom obviously won because she takes very good care of her cats. And, um, then the law changed and now we are allowed to have six pets, but you're only allowed max three dogs. Obviously people break those all the time, but, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I get it. Taking care of that many animals can be a lot and it can be really bad for the property that you're on. I get it. You definitely need to make sure you're taking care of them. Yeah. <laughs> yep, yep, I remember. We had to go to court. My mom had character witnesses. It was crazy. I was really, really little. <laughs> All right, I think we're ready to start blending. So if you haven't watched me draw before, I like to over blend my art and then add texture. Um, sometimes I wish that that wasn't the case. I love painterly looks, but that is just how my style goes. So alas, here we are. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying. Remind me when I take a break to go get my phone charger. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> no break yet, surprisingly.
Did that work? The pat? I missed it. <laughs> oh my gosh. When Baxter laughs, like when I laugh, and it's just the two pictures, like of just her mouth going, ha ha, ha ha ha. It looks so funny. <laughs> Oh, good. I'm glad it did. Hello, Holly. How you doing? Ooh, pictures. I want to see you. Isn't she? Such a cute character. Also kind of badass. Like, she gives me super badass vibes. Huntress is incredibly smart and basically the Batman of always having a plan. I love that. Yes, this character belongs to Rattle Grimm. I've been tagged. I hope it's a picture of your hair. Oh my gosh, Holly. Uh, you're so beautiful. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you look so good. Uh, I love it. Uh, the shape. Goddamn. So good. So fucking good. My hair has been bothering me again lately, but I want to wait <laughs> till all the blonde grows out. When they can afford it, I would like to get it redone. Not the blonde, not the full head of blonde, but maybe, I don't know, if I could afford it. I just love like I hate that I wear a lot of black and then especially on like camera, like my hair kind of blends in with it because it is pretty much brown now instead of naturally dirty blonde. Yeah, my ends are getting bad too. Have blonde tipped hair. I, how do I explain? Like I really like, you know, when Ashley Johnson's blonde is like, like, I don't know. She gets it done so her natural roots are showing. And, like, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. X Thix, thank you so much for the follow. I just jumped out of my skin. <laughs> I forgot that I had turned my volume all the way up because I had my headphones off and I can usually still hear it when my headphones are just next to me. So I had, but I had the volume up all the way. So I did. Um, and then I put my headphones back on. <laughs> Never be sorry for a good skill. It made me so sad drawing it. Like, I literally started crying, Holly. Aww. 
It's only Ebro still who who knows that she's a tiefling. She hasn't told anybody else. Oh, yeah, she would definitely be that girl. I imagine the circus, when they first had her go out as a tiefling, did have a bunch of jewelry on her horns. Because they didn't remove her horns initially. It was just because people didn't want someone who was part of, or at least part of their ancestry was like part of hell talking to their loved ones. Because they'll be like, they're not in hell. You can't speak to them. So I imagine they did originally. And it would have been really pretty. Yeah. Yes. She definitely, I feel like, didn't have a fear of piercings. I added a little, um, a little stud in that because I imagine she was never scared of piercings. Don't forget tail jewelry too. Do you mean, do you mean for, oh, okay. You mean for Baxter. I was like, oh, on the commission, she has jewelry, gold rings and satin bands. Yeah. I imagine she would have been like, so you know how she's got like that wispy flowy pieces of her outfit. I imagine they would have had like, I don't know, almost like a train. It would have been really pretty. I love her. It's so sad. <laughs> wait, 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 disadvantage on stealth from all the jangles. Oh, actually, she still has like a jingly sound. Like we describe it as she sounds like magic when she walks. Um, and B and I discussed the possibility of giving her disadvantage on her stealth but for whatever reason we decided against it i told him like i wouldn't mind like if she decides to seek out a wizard who can remove the sound or decides not to wear the jingles um but i think she likes that she sounds like magic all right so her skin is all blended actually let me adjust some booby blending here very good that's better all right how do you like your Bax VTuber? I am not big on her face. I really don't like it. Um, I'd love to redo it. Um, I also figured out that you can do GIFs. So um, she can have like flowy hair as well, which I would love to do at some point when I can afford it, which will not be anytime soon. But like, I like it. I just, I don't like her face very much. And I think it would be really cool if she was a VTuber instead. Um, but that's so expensive. I could never... But that's okay. It's nice to have something when I'm not feeling like using camera. Yeah, thanks for forward in the future. But I do like having it. And I do think she's super cute. It's just her face doesn't feel like Bax to me. All right, time for the texture. So we'll start with a noise brush. And another noise brush. And then dull this down like a heck of a lot. Ah. If you just use the noise feature, it doesn't use color. It like grays it out and I don't want that, which is why I do it that way. All right, so then we're gonna do natural freckling before we add her like really cute freckles. Now, because the artist did them differently than I would, we're gonna make sure that they're how you imagine. So just be prepared for me to be verifying those things with you in a moment. This is not it. This is just like natural skin texture. Okay, so let me pull up the reference. So she's got freckling 
Now, she has freckling on her chest, correct? I want more color in this too. So she has freckling on her chest, cheeks, shoulders, and butt. So does she not have it on her chest like that? Okay, cute. Chest too. Okay, cool. Che what is cheeks, shoulders, and butt? Okay, so yeah, the shoulder's not visible. Now, if you are cool with it, I can also add some beauty marks, which will make her skin feel a bit more natural. I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to use a soft airbrush. We can do a little, a little some chesty ones. I love adding some on the tummy. Can add on the legs. Mm -hmm. So super subtle, nothing crazy. And then I'll just gauche and blur it like literally maybe 2%. And then I lower the opacity and it just kind of makes these cute bigger freckles. Um, let me know if you like that. They're not really visible, but they're there. And I just love the vibe they give. Um, are her freckles dark enough, her regular freckles? Because I can also make them more. It's pretty you like it. Okay, awesome. So that's, where did you go? What am I doing? Yes. Right there. So like this. I'm doing a stretch. Wait, waiting. <laughs> a little darker. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate it and I'm just going to go like that a little bit like that too quick. No, it's okay. There's actually a bit of lag as well. I believe like not enough, but enough to make conversation confusing sometimes. So awesome. Okay. I'm actually going to just go and turn this off for a second because I'm going to send this to you because I don't want to merge anything until you approve it. Um, it has been an hour, so I am actually going to take a quick pee break because that's how I roll. So I'm going to send you this. I will get my phone charger. Thank you for reminding me. And I will be back. Um, it probably won't be 10 minutes because I'd like to keep working. So Rettle, you just let me know how you like that, okay? And uh, for everyone listening in, I will be right back to continue drawing.
Hello. All right. I got my phone charger. All is well. Just getting cozy here. Also, I just realized we didn't add cheetah print to her ears. So let me adjust that real quick. I'm going to go like this and then I'm going to grab, where are you? Where are you? Animal textures. That's not the color I want. This is not a multiple there. There you go. So what I want to do is I want to distort it to be more angled. And before I erase the part where obviously it's not on, <laughs> that honestly is a compliment. <laughs> and then I'm going to erase the middle and then make it less uh, intense. Like that. There we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right. So now that we have her freckles and stuff, we are going to merge so my iPad doesn't get mad at me. There we go. And then now we can start doing the fun stuff, highlighting um, and all that jazz. I'm listening to Baxter's playlist in my ear and the Billie Eilish, uh, what's it called? What was I made for? Oh, so hard not to just sing to it. All right. So I want to add some highlighting and I'll start with a noise brush. Got to add that thigh highlight because obviously noise. Love it. And then I'm going to grab blurry glitter for a bit more intense. I also want to do Yeah, hell yeah. That comes with texturing, so perfect. bit more of an intense highlight there. Now I'm going to do the lip highlight. I like to use this brush in particular and we can uh, dull it down after, but this is how I like to make glossy lips. Obviously that's a bit intense, but <laughs> bear with me. And then just use a soft airbrush. That way you don't have to lower the opacity of the entire layer. You can even blend it, especially this part here. 
and then add a few spots of the more intense color. There we go. A glossy baby. Could even actually do add a bit more color. Slide that down over the eh. maybe just the bottom. Gee. Yeah. Okay. Woot. Thank you, Bean. And then I'm gonna go in with just my Halis brush. And then this is where I add all my lines. No worries, thank you for the lurk, Holly. This needs to be darker there. I like to do this little thing where I go around some highlights. Nobody notices it, but I think it just looks a bit more natural, almost like a bump in the skin. Yeah, exactly. Oh, we do still have to do the nails as well. I'll do that quickly. Oops. I need a multiply layer and an add layer.
hey, it's 25% off to sub this month and then you won't get any ads. Woo. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I know ads suck. <laughs> Alas. Okay. No worries at all. It's never an expectation. All right. So, am I almost done? I have a couple technical things to finish, but I think I am basically done. <gasps> I'm so glad. So some things I have to do is uh, make the blanket uh, work with the shape. So like, cause she's laying on a blanket, so it's not gonna be, you know, totally flat. So do that. And then the, I think the last thing I have to do is highlights. I don't, I don't think I'm missing anything else. So just do this. This part of her knee would technically be upward. All right. Just adjust. Okay, so I think it's just final details now, which means I'm going to remove this bad boy so I can get the full image here. So first things first, especially because there's lighting coming from the back, I'm actually gonna do a bit of a shadow along the bottom. Now, I know it takes away the lightness of the tail. So if you hate it, let me know, but it does help it feel more, I don't know, depth, I guess. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you agree. 
So this is going to be where that bright light from her window is going to come in, which is one reason I like to add a really bright light source is because I love a good backlight. And then we'll start with her skin. Okay. Oh, I did not realize I had attached her eyelashes and stuff to that there. So I want to go like that and then I'm going to reclip it because then I'll just add this. And then I'll go back up here. Just to add that finer highlighting detail. Make it look more fluffy. And then some more highlighting on the shirt. Now, because the shirt is a bright color, I'm going to use, instead of the white, I'll go like that. Always love more fluff, hell yeah. Okay, so I don't want the very bottom, where are you, to be highlighted. I don't want this seam to be highlighted. And then these lines and here. Okay. I also just realized a shadow I want on the hair. Just from where the booba is. There we go, and we are just about done. Hi, Lily! Oh my gosh, no worries at all. It's been a really chill, quiet stream. How have you been? Oh no, oh 
I'm sorry you're sick. That sucks. We're kind of sick. Are we a done? Question mark? I think so. Yeah, I think I want to add that bit of shadow there. And then I just want to add some lighting in the front. Chicken noodle soup. Yes, good plan. Yeah, I'm so glad. All right, let me just add these um, these speckles. Essentially, they're supposed to be dust. And I actually do have a debris brush. It's supposed to be like dust in the sunlight kind of thing. So I'm going to go like that. I'm going to duplicate it. Then I'll Gaussian blur the top one. And then I will motion blur. And then I'm going to erase some of them. Yay, I think this piece is actually done. I'm going to send, um, oh no, I got rid of the thingy. I'm going to send you a final picture for approval before finishing up. Finishing up by as in, like, I can send you linkies and stuff like that. <laughs> so let me just go like this and send you that. Uh, where are you, Rettle? All right. Sent. Bring that back up. Oh, I'm going to stretch. I assume that that means we're good, Rattle, because usually I like to share the process video um, when I finish a piece, and I figure I might as well. Yee. Okay. And I'll just share this. Look at those boobas. I just went right in with the round. <laughs> oh, so how's everybody doing? What's good? I'm debating on if I should keep streaming while I work on the next piece or not. Hmm. The next piece is already up to flats. You're really good today. I'm really glad to hear. The next piece is up to flats. So it is ready to stream because I do prefer to stream that sort of thing uh, when it is up to flats. And then the two after that are not up to flats. I'll show y'all where we're at. It's not, it's not good. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad I could make your day. It's so sad. I drew both eyes, but only one is visible. It's okay. Ooh, I really like her hairstyle. I think her hairstyle is really cool. I'm glad that you made sure to indicate that it was not an ombre, but like, like a very distinct change in color. I love it. Ooh. So yeah, if there's anyone just listening in, we are just watching the process video of the commission that we just finished, because I like to share that uh, once I have completed here on live. Uh, and yeah, can't decide if I'll keep drawing. I don't know. I don't know if you should. I don't know if you want me to. I mean, I'm probably going to keep drawing. Just I don't know if I should stream it or not. But I'll show you before you make that decision. You're happy boy. Okay, I'm good. I'm glad. A happy boy. I'm glad I could do a piece like this. Like I said, I love doing like pinups kind of deal. So how are you feeling from stream? I'm feeling good. It's been a very chill stream, so I'm not feeling overwhelmed, which is usually why I end up ending early and I'm not feeling that way. So it's pretty good. I'm vibing, chilling. My phone's charging. So like if it's really quiet, I can always throw Netflix on in my ear. We'll see. Oh, you're very sweet. Well, I will not be closing commissions anytime soon. So you just let me know. I mean, commissions are technically closed, but I do open up uh, slots. So I will always be around in future. 
Ooh, I do have two emergency slots open that I've not been able to fill. Hashtag stressed, so I get it. <laughs> this, just because of the color for top, it's giving me, uh, just for like a hot second, it was giving me, um, what is it? Laura Croft. Laura Croft. Yeah. I love this base color of hair. It's almost like a dirty blonde. Mm. Yeah, that's super fair. Uh, I'm, yeah, that comes first for sure. I'm sorry to hear that. Sandy Brown. Yes. I love it. I think it's so pretty. It is okay. Dun -dun. Dun -dun. Oh, Finn. She's the redhead in the corner right now. It's gone now. Now it's a different redhead. The redhead before this was my Dungeons and Dragons character of my first ever finished campaign. Oh, I love her so much. I want to write her story. I want to write it like a book, though. I don't think I want to do webtoons. Like, I would love to, sure. But I feel like doing a webtoon would make me lose my love for art. You know, like, my favorite thing to do is portraits. Not, like, you know what I mean? Not, like, uh, interactions and stuff like that. That webtoons require to be good, in my opinion. Um, so I think I'd rather write it like a book. Uh, yeah, it was a finished campaign. It was just three players, me, my twin sister, and one of our good friends. It was a, my first in real life campaign. I could, but I don't, I don't think I'd enjoy that at all. <laughs> so it's not that I couldn't, I just, I don't think I'd enjoy it the same way. Like, I used to love writing. Like, I won a writing contest at school. Like, I used to just love it. And I think that that would be a good, um... A good prompt would be that campaign. It was really good. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she was like a god by the end of it and ascended. And they actually just released like another few or handful levels of the Lost Minds of Fandelver campaign, which is what it was. Although there was a lot of homebrew because of the story. Um, and B was like teasing us with it. And oh my god, it'd be amazing just to play the play again with that campaign like for some reason send Finn back down from godhood and take away those insane powers and just have her back to her for a while I think it'd be oh I just think it'd be so super fun I wish I was surprised even Brett he's so it was Finrail um who was a divine soul sorcerer and then um Kai, who was a monk, and Finn's twin sister, and then Galek, who was a paladin. Um, and it was just, ugh. You guys, it was so good. Uh, I miss it. The hair is always the biggest part of the process video. So sorry. I love how bright her tips are. I think it looks sick. Man, you really make me want to find a new D&D group. You should. It's worth it. And it's worth it just because, like, I think it's really nice to pretend you're someone else in a fantasy world. You know? It's so pleasing. <sighs> Trying to decide what I want to do after this. B is going to be off work. So maybe I should just work until B is off. You know, that's why you love acting. Yeah, you get to pretend to be somebody else. Finding a group, it can be very hard. I think it's really important to remember that if you find a group, I think it is healthy for your brain to think of your first handful of sessions as an interview. Because I've seen too many people join a group of a bunch of people they don't know and end up having issues and then feeling bad about leaving. And I think that if you're group searching, not only are you going to feel more comfortable joining with that stance in mind, um, but it'll be easier to leave if you need to. And I think that exactly like think of it like a trial period. If they're a dick about you deciding to leave, then clearly they're not the people for you. Um, 
I think finding a good D and D group is really hard. Uh, and I think that that's okay to remember that when you are seeking groups, you know, join, play, maybe ask to do a couple of one shots with a group a ahead of time, you know, see if everyone flows the same way. Um, like for me, like I really love trauma in my D and D groups and a group of my friends, they don't like trauma and that's okay, but I probably won't join as many campaigns with them. You don't know how you like to play versus how someone else likes to play. Like my current campaign, the one with Baxter, everyone's kind of being murder hobos at the moment and I will not play that way and Baxter won't play that way. So it'll be interesting to see how we get through that situation because <laughs> that's how last session ended. But I just think it's important to remember that it's okay to treat it like a trial. Da, da. All right, that is da, 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 the end of the process. Also, character personality clashes can be an issue. Yes! Like, I personally don't think it's cool to make an evil character unless it's pre-discussed. Like, don't, don't discuss it with the group. Like, keep your secrets, but, like, ask your DM, and then your DM can ask as a group, you know, during that session zero, how do you feel about you know, possible betrayal of PCs, that kind of thing. I think it's really important to go ahead of time because I I don't think it's okay. I play D&D &D to make a little family in game and those things. You know, there's always going to be differences. Differences are okay. That's not the same. But I mean, like, someone betraying someone, throwing them under the bus so they get killed. That's not okay, and I don't enjoy that. And I think it's important to know that going in if someone does and thinks it's okay. And the DM should be fully aware of that ahead of time. That's their job. Also, character personality clashes can be an issue. Not always the player. Sometimes switching characters is a solution. Yes, which I have seen in campaign. Um, my problem is I like more serious ca character campaigns, but I'm goofy IRL. 100%. I agree. I prefer a more serious RP. I don't really like goofing off. I want to do what my character would do and I write my character like a person, you know? So I get that. All right, so there's the logo. I will send you those final copies and stuff. Um, I'm going to send it in a Dropbox file as soon as I finish stream. Don't let me forget, okay, Rettle? You can be on my ass about it. It's okay. I will, I will give you full permission to bug me. So here's the commissions going on right now. This is not a commission going on. This was a daily sketch. Friendly reminder, those are open. Uh, it's $50 and $40 for patrons. Um, but I really enjoyed it. So I haven't, I haven't deleted it yet. <laughs> I have a problem. Of course, thank you. Here is a commission of a character from my Monday campaign who is best friends with my character. Her name is Ren. And then here, I have a big commission coming up. And um, I decided to do uh, thumbnails because I wanted to get the vibe going. So basically, uh, the commissioner, who's Kitchen Cat, some of you might know, um, the commissioner said, I want her like pouring over her desk and books and trying to figure out time. Um, and so I did that and she wanted her wand and her tail. So I forgot to draw the tail in the last two, but we are going with the number four because we like the shape of her being more visible, especially because it's a half body commission. Um, so we're going to go with number four. We'll see how that goes. That'll be fun. Um, but this is the one that, uh, I am shading next. This is the next commission. Speaking of, I should message the commis com commissioner. Uno momento. Where are you? Starts with a P. There you are. Working on her on stream. <laughs> Let me just yell at them. <laughs> Open up my references. Hello, Star. Welcome in. We just finished that commission from the other day. Here's a quick sneak peek for you. We just finished that one. While I'm opening up my references, I'll let you stare at that. Actually, I'm going to run to the washroom because that's how I roll. And then we will get to the line art has not been merged or color changed. So we're going to do that first and then hopefully do some shading before B gets off work. So I'll be right back. Everybody be good because I don't have any mods.
I know. All right. So the lips will go darker once we shade them. So I'm not too worried about that. I might change the tone to be, ooh, boo. <laughs> Thank you, Star. Yo! Reddle, thank you! Oh, thank you! Thank you so much for the tip, you sweet bean! Also, I love that you picked the 26 option because, fun fact, I added that in as an option because it is my favorite number. Hello, Chrissy! Thank you! Oh my gosh, sir. You're so, so sweet. Thank you, thank you. I'm excited to send you the final copies. So I will send you um, the copy with and without my logo. So I just ask when you post it online, you share the copy with the logo. Um, you're welcome to print it off for yourself at home. And um, I believe I'll also send the process video. I started just adding them to everyone's because then I have them all in one place in my Dropbox. I stopped charging people for them. <laughs> um, so we did get a color for the nails. Welcome back, Lily. Folks, the Critical Role cast is in my town right now. I'm not there to meet them. I would be shitting my pants. I'm so sorry. Hi back. I'm dad. You should just frequent the restaurants like near the hotel. Maybe they'll be there. <laughs> or near wherever it is, I should say. I guess it's probably not a hotel. Um, B is actually off work, but I am going to keep, I'm going to keep, uh, drawing for now. He actually texted me cause he saw that I was, uh, streaming. Oh my gosh. I forgot that I had flightless bird on this, uh, playlist. The real ones know that song. <laughs> This is one pale girly pop, let me tell you. Hello, mano mano, how you doing? I love dad jokes. It's our big Comic Con this weekend, but I'm going to Lightbox in October and can't afford both, especially since I have to fly to Lightbox. Oh man, I'm so sorry. Man, going to Lightbox would be so cool. I had a table like online when they did their online thing during COVID. Which was great. It was really sweet, but it definitely wasn't as worth it cost wise. Um, but uh, it would be really cool to travel there. Although I don't think I'm allowed to uh, sell there because I am Canadian. Okay, I'm just going to merge this. We will work on the gun much later. Uh, cause you need to have permits to sell in the States. Um, unfortunately I could have a friend sell for me. I think that's a workaround that people do, but I don't know how to ship. I there's okay. Someone's doing construction outside. One sec. <laughs> um, there's like a workaround for it, but it's like expensive. Like people can hire other people to have a table for them. Um, but I cannot afford <laughs> One day, maybe. All right, what was I doing here? But yeah, it's it's very complicated. Do it, Star. You'd have such a good time. I know I'm supposed to be promoting you not to spend money. I'm the worst. I'm so sorry. Ooh, 
but Halloween weekend, that's true. My Comic Con is on Halloween weekend. So I'll be I'll be at uh, my Comic Con. There's nobody local here, but <laughs> Can you still hear that awful sound? Someone's like sawing something or something. Sounds like a weed eater. Yeah, definitely possible. So sorry. They're doing a lot of construction right now because everyone's getting new windows at my apartment. Hopefully they'll be done soon, because yikes. Who's this lovely lady? Um, let me open up her references. I think her references have her name. Her name is Alice. Um, I do not have a write-up on her, so I unfortunately do not know too much about her. Uh, the commissioner is not here. Ah, big unfortunate. Um, she is a vampire, though. Um, you can't see her teeth, um, because I have a hard time drawing vampire teeth when their mouth is almost closed, because I think it looks silly. Like when someone awkwardly bites their lip. You know? <laughs> but she is indeed a vamp. Yeah, vampires. We stand. With guns, yeah. The only... I actually hate guns like i actually have a hard time saying the word it makes me feel super nauseous the only time it is acceptable is when it's a pirate that's that doesn't bother me Flintlocks. Is that is that another word for them? <laughs> Type of musket. Not a fan either. I definitely live in the wrong country for that sentiment. Thank goodness for Canada. Although stuff definitely still happens here. Not as bad. But she is so pale. <laughs> Ooh, I have to shut this candle. B and I each have a candle in the house that one of us doesn't like. So as long as we shut it and turn it off, turn it off, put it out before he or before the other one gets here, we're allowed to use them because it makes us both feel sick. His is like too, I don't know how to explain it. Like clean, it gives me a headache. And mine is too sugary for Brayden. So this kind of hair is another one where it'll be easier to go from light to dark. We're going to start with that. And then it is, it can be really hard for me to shade pale skin. So I'm interested to see how this will go. Is it two toned or just sunlight changed? I don't know what you mean. Do you mean her skin? Because I have a selection over it right now. Because I'm selecting just the eyes. Oh, the hair? No, no, no. It's not two-toned. It's just the sun is hitting the bottom more. Thus, I have left it. I did not, in fact, want to see them. Yeah, see, that would make me nauseous. Nauseous. Could never. Can't catch me. I don't even really like talking about them. Okay, so select those peepers and then we will shade. 
She's got like siren eyes. Her face claim is actually Megan Fox. 1010, we stand. Also, I just remembered. Let's throw this up there. How will the events of the next Strahd session go? Serenity, inner strength and self-reliance, supreme confidence bereft of arrogance. Ooh. Do you think it'll be a very personal session? I would feel like that. I feel like that's good. I feel like it is. Maybe we'll all have a heart to heart. Maybe. Were you there last session when Winnie gave everybody um, 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 holy water? Since we're fighting vampires. Winnie spent six six hours no i think it's more than six uh making a bunch of holy water for everybody as a gift there we go i'm just gonna use brown as the eye background color Doing this just makes it feel more natural, I find. I also love how Winnie can tell Vaughn almost anything and he just apparently just believes her. I know, right? I mean, she's told him nothing but the truth. Nothing but the truth at all. <laughs> let's see let's see what the cards have to say oh wrong one wrong one pull baxter does winnie tell the truth always <laughs> interesting interesting no comment she's a good girl i swear she's best girl i love her augustine and stana i don't know what you're talking about <laughs> are they stealing the hearts of others through lies wait what Oh, because it was a thief? No, she's not a thief. She's a good girl. I don't like that Winnie has gotten this card twice. Baxter, leave Winnie alone. She's precious. Has she? Oh my gosh. Cards are weird, man. Hello, Avery. How you the win? Avery, did you see the drawing I did today? 
Makes you feel like she's going to lose something important. Winnie? What do you think she'll lose? That's so sad. Oh yes, happy first day of fall. I thought that was yesterday. Am I wrong? I'm tired of finished tattooing, so now I'm doing some admin stuff. Oh yay for admin. Hopefully not friendship. I hope not friendship. She doesn't know if you guys actually like her yet. <laughs> I may have cried while drawing that, Avery. Vaughn and B like her. I feel like B likes everyone. <laughs> and I feel like Vaughn likes anyone from the Feywild. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. I wish we got to play every week. I totally understand why we don't, but I would totally be down. It is helpful to like have some Saturdays free. Obviously, I'm streaming today and got work done, but like uh... If it wasn't Saturdays, my only day of the week that I'm free now is Fridays and technically Thursdays as well. I need my reference photo of Megan Fox. Where are you? Yes, the queen. Can I flip this? I don't want to rotate it. I just want to flip it. Can I do that on my computer? I think it's well. Fridays, you say? <laughs> yes. I mean, I'll still have, like, things on occasional Fridays, but... Um... Can I flip you? Yes. Very nice. Okay, good. Awesome. Wonderful. I didn't get to finish the tattoo, so I am sad. If anyone gets a tattoo, please have the whole day free. Oh, that's so shitty. Did they not tell you? Why did I cry, Avery? Because she's dead and she doesn't even remember her childhood. And she used to be able to grow out her hair. And she used to have her horns and her tail and her canines. Hey now, I'm not saying nothing unless Tess asks Star because I don't want to put any pressure on her. Besides, I don't know if Fridays work for uh, Ava as well, you know? d and is hard. There's so many people. I hate people like that, Avery. They should have told you ahead of time about how much time they had. And, like, I don't know. I would have a whole day free. Like, it's exhausting getting a tattoo. <laughs> Why wouldn't you want the whole day free? Also, Avery, oh my gosh, that lettering you did is so good. Like, it looked like a stamp. Like, I'm stunned. There was no blowout. There was no wonky lines. Like, it literally looked like a pressed-on tattoo. Crazy. They said they had something at 6, which was like, oh, that's fine. But then he booked something at 3.30, so I had to rush. Oh, that's so shitty. I'm sorry. Tess asked like over a month ago if you could switch the day or make it weekly. And you said you could only do Saturday. So it was already on the table at one point. I had girls nights on Fridays. Um, but Ellie joined a 
a different campaign on Fridays. That's so shitty, Avery. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh, that's so shitty, Avery. I'm so mad for you. People suck. Yeah, I definitely would put him on the list of like, after you do this tattoo, like don't book with him again. I would be picky personally. It's not worth your time. Yeah, exactly. There's never a guarantee about time because you never know what's gonna happen. you charge an inconvenience fee he deserves to be charged for that i agree like i understand if you don't this time because it's already been dealt with but maybe the next time he comes in let him know like you need to have that time and there's going to be an inconvenience fee if it is either rushed or has to be postponed any of those things yeah it's kind of hard to implement, but like it's, I shouldn't say hard, it's nerve wracking. But I think making those boundaries is gonna be very helpful for you in the end. Oh, that person doing the noisy construction is at it again. That's so fair. I'm very picky about what's on my body as well. I have tattoos that I'm not happy with and I'm very specific now. There's this one artist that does, like Avery just got a tattoo from her. Just beautiful, amazing, like animal and floral work. And I really want to sleeve by them. Um, so bad. He's doing a pottery class? Isn't that something you should know ahead of time? <laughs> the heck? Or go play DD. Yes. Avery has come over multiple times after a tattoo.
which was the worst thing ever. See, I don't think I want any color tattoos, so I'm in luck there. Because my sleeve, I want a raven for my first D&D character and then floral, but I prefer black and white. But I don't know if the artist I like will do it. <laughs> Aw, I like, I like, I don't know if I could ever do my full D&D &D character. I like hints of my D&D &D character. Like I would love to get a, a little red and blue heart, like super tiny somewhere just for Bax Bros. I think that'd be so cute. A small Ebros, please do. Please do, everybody. There is a monthly art, like, prompt. We call it a challenge. It's just a prompt. And this month's was um, um, Childhood Memory, uh, which I voted for specifically because I really wanted to draw Baby Baxter. <laughs> and I definitely cried. She's wearing her mother's shoes. Maybe. Does she have a mom? I don't know. I just drew it. Um, but I think it'd be so cute. Maybe the heart with their horns. That would be really cute, but see, I don't know if I could do that. I think I would prefer just the hearts. Like, I'm so picky. I'm so, so, so picky. Um, but yes, this is Baby Baxter. She's missing the tooth. And I love her so much. Um, but anyways, yes, join the monthly challenge. I'd love to see some more baby OCs. You have to do the tattoo, the red and blue heart? I'd be down. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> do it. Please do it. I want to see more baby OCs. That was probably my favorite thing I've ever done. Are you working on the Halloween thing already? Oh, I have to get on it. I'm really curious what you're doing, although I have a guess of a football player and a cheerleader, specifically because you randomly told me that you were getting a lot of football men on your TikTok, which doesn't really seem like you. So I was thinking in theory, maybe you were looking at football players. <laughs> I'd love to get a portrait tattoo, but I'm super picky about how they look. And despite being from the city with tons of renowned artists, that's how I feel too. I don't think I could ever do a portrait. Even getting a raven to me is so scary. Are you working on the, oh, oh no. If I did a D&D &D tattoo, it would probably be the flower their name is from and then motifs of their, yeah. See, I would, it would be like, like, oh, there's lots of ads going on right now. 25% off for a sub. <laughs> okay, we need to add some, I understand that she's a vampire, but holy fuck, we need to add some sort of flush to her cheeks. Maybe she's freshly, freshly drink, drunk. You bought six months of sub? Insane. Friendly reminder, everybody, it is 25% off of subs this month. So if you are interested in joining, you won't get an ad. <laughs> I have found a couple portrait tattoo artists whose style I would love, but one is in France and another I also would have to fly to. Like four ads? Oh my God. It was $20 for six months of subbing. That's crazy. What did I say? Oh, I asked if you're working on the Halloween drawing. And then I said a theory for the costume. I also have so many ads today for more, far more than the last two times I joined the stream. That's so weird. I do not touch the ad information. My theory is that it's a cheerleader and a football player because um, you randomly were getting football players on your... <laughs> on your TikTok. Phil has been watching football. I creeped on your TikTok. Okay, okay. In three month in three days, gift subs are also discounted. Oh, is it only is it only for three days of the month? What? Pourquoi?
Only the one player. Weird. I keep going back and forth if I should sign up for the Halloween challenge. You should do it. You should totally do it. It's going to be so fun. I have not signed up yet. When is it due again? Which day did Bun say? September this year was mainly for yourself. I am signing up. Glad I'm glad you're signing up. Oh, I didn't know that for the gift discounting. That's obviously too red. Okay, I'll have to adjust that tone. Pale is so hard for me. just back to normal ah. so I can grab the color deadline for Haley's Halloween event signups is September 29th okay I I, I want to make a card for Baxter like Fallen did but Fallen's is so good like mine's never gonna be that good But I figured that would be easier, especially if I hope in the future to commission pieces of Baxter. I want to do it for more of my OCs, but. Yeah, I have a Google Doc as well, but I don't like the format, like the photos and stuff, how they go. See, I just find um, pale skin so hard to shade because you don't want it to get mucky. But it's definitely very easy to get mucky. is home oh thank you 
My biggest thing is I wish we could do like a big hat shadow, but technically it's leaning forward, so we're not going to do that. Or it's leaning back, not forward. <laughs> Hats, so annoying. Hats, okay. Okay, guys, what is a Halloween costume that Bax Bros could be wearing that involves hats? Maybe they're pirates. Ooh. Okay, so my actual guess, my OG guess, is not accurate, which I'm glad because that's what I planned on drawing. And it doesn't involve hats. So now I know. Now I know. What could involve hats? It must be pirates, right? What else could they be? Detectives? No. Hmm. I wonder. Mobsters in the 30s? That's true. We discussed that it does not have to be, like, canon. Like, something in Faerun. So... Circus. I don't think it would be circus because Baxter's backstory has to do with circus. And it's traumatic. <laughs> Any dude with a fedora? Glasses? Maybe it is a detective. Oh no, my brain. What could it be? Okay, no, no, no. I want it to be a surprise. No more hints, no more hints. Way to forget. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, no. Don't give me any hints, okay? I want to be surprised. I did not start yet. No, I feel too bad that I haven't gotten commission work done. So I have, alas, not been able to. I got to get caught up on commission work so that way I can hopefully get more because I'm, I'm, I, I got bills to pay. <laughs> And then I won't stress as much when I'm doing like the Discord challenge or even Patreon stuff. Just uh, go in. You know, maybe someone will be like, I need a tattoo right this moment. Well, that's not your fault. Maybe people just aren't available. I need booby shadows. That's okay. Stay positive. 
You are still a fresh baby. It's amazing what you've already been doing. Just vibe, girl. Nice. That's a good shading. 1010 10, booba. I am getting hungry, so I might have to go soon. I will I will I don't well I don't I don't make dinner so I have no choice <laughs> in the matter so it won't really matter uh, if I get off technically overwhelmed with people emailing me oh I want an assistant and an accountant girl I feel you I hate emails personally I make people message me on discord because then I can pin stuff everything gets lost in my email is it bad I want a commission of a character I'm only going to use in a one shot probably once nah I don't think that's bad I'm biased though I'm also not allowed to take your money. <laughs> We've made a pact. It's it's an unspoken pact, but I feel like it's still a pact. I already feel a little guilty. I'm going to head out because I need to watch a schoolism course and my computer doesn't like when I have two videos and a take running at the same time. Catch you later. Catch you later. Thank you so much for Chrissy. Thank you so much, Chrissy. I don't know what I said for Chrissy. Thank you for hanging out. I hope you have a good day. I do love tea things.
<sighs> Ooh. Does he not have his horns? Or does he use disguise self? Should I enter the Halloween gift event? Those who spread wisdom and faith to others, warnings of the spread of fear and ignorance. Do not be scared to join. Do it. <laughs> That's 100% what it's saying. I think all these cards are ominous. I think you just got to expect ominous. Will my young tiefling ever be in a campaign? Oh, that means they'll die in a campaign, maybe. But that means they'll be in a campaign? Or they won't. <laughs> Yeah, maybe they'll be in a one shot. Oh. I think that is where I'm going to call it. Let me see here. If y'all could stick around for the raid, um, that would be lovely. Let me see if any of my faves are online. Let's see. Debbie's online. Yeah, let's raid Debbie. Thank you, I shall. Uh, remind me to send you those thingies too. Um, let's see. Hey, 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 Liz. 
upgrade. If you could copy this message and then paste it once we get over to Debbie's chat, um, just to hype them up. Raid Debbie Cat. And uh, yeah, thank you for being here. This was really lovely. I had a good time. I hope uh, you guys enjoyed, and I will be live again at some point. <laughs> so uh, stay tuned. Bye.